The folks at Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation have a busy summer planned. The calendar is jam-packed with activities. Bobby Sparks tells us about the various summer camps and other programs offered throughout the Parks and Recreation system. Well, our Recreation Center facilities are very busy during the summer months. Uh, the staff's planned an array of activities and programs from sports programs to, to summer camps to, to uh, nature programs as well as specialized sports camps. Uh, in addition to our plan programs, we also have our game rooms, open gym, fitness rooms, and our, and our, our open spaces for, for uh, discretional leisure. We have a range of athletic camps coming up this summer, uh, baseball, softball, indoor soccer, um, as well as tennis and golf lessons. Uh, there are several, on our website has the full information for all of that. There are deadlines for some of those that is usually around June 1st or 2nd. The fees are about $30 to $40 per camp, uh, but our website has all of that information. We've got dance classes ranging from hip hop to clogging, as well as painting classes that um, uh, include masterpiece showcases from watercolors to as well as painting cityscapes, seascapes, and, and landscapes. We also offering this year for the first time combo camps, which includes a, it's a combination of our traditional summer camps as well as some arts and craft camp. Um, one of them is a mini masterpiece course, which which in part of the day they'll be engulfed in some type of cultural activity and then at the end of the day they'll finish into a traditional camp. So we've been offering that at some of our sites as well. In addition to our traditional summer camp, we also have a camp for, for students with special needs or, or folks with disabilities. Camp Challenge is offered over at Gilmore TRC. It's best to, to call them to get more details, but it's offered it's just like our camp is, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30, June 11th through August 17th. Three of our sites offer um, adventure camps. That's Masaryk Park, Lake Rim Park, and uh, Clark Park. Those camps include hiking, orienteering, archery, um, and even canoeing. Again, you'd have to go to our website to see more details about them, but that's just kind of an overview of what, of what they'll be doing over the summer. They even have one uh, catered to five to seven year olds, and they also have one that's all about dinosaurs. We offer swimming lessons over the summer at Chalmers Pool, which is across Fayetteville State on Langdon Street. Those lessons are progressive. They talk about propelling and treading water. They also talk about basic stroke skills and water safety. Youth Development is a new initiative that Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation has started. We've actually hired a person to, to monitor youth development as well as uh, cultural arts um, because Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation recognizes the need for alternate programming other than what we traditionally do. Uh, we've partnered with the College Access Program at Fayetteville State University to provide some life skills training for um, high school students and younger as well as some parents who may have some students who are, are, who are interested in going to college. From education workshops to parent seminars on how to prepare your child for college or have them work on a 10-year plan or how to cope with losing your child in their first year of college. We're offering those programs free of charge over the summer to parents and, and students alike. The biggest thing we offer is at-will leisure, things that people can do besides sports, besides um, what people traditionally think parks and recreation is. So, so we're offering uh, cultural arts and youth development. We're offering opportunities for parents to, to, to become more informed about college. We're trying to branch out into something that's a different, a different spectrum of recreation. The biggest thing is that we are, we're competing with with churches and outside organizations that are doing things that we do and we have to start changing our game to become uh, more innovative and, and st stick with trends of recreation. You can go to any local recreation center to find out more information about our programming. You can also visit our website at www.fcpr.us or you can call our administrative office at 910-433-1547. The biggest thing about Parks and Recreation is that we go to work when no one else is working. So when while children are at school and while parents are at work, we're working on providing opportunities for, for things that you can do in your leisure time. And, and, and that's important, you know, uh, Parks and Recreation is, 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 a, is a valuable asset to the community simply because we provide services that are after work hours that, that, will, that will allow people to come to our programs and, and, um, and take part in that.